please forgive me. Governor of Kanu State begs his people for forgiveness. <laughs> this is wonderful. So these guys are beginning to understand that there is life after power. Yes. There is life after power. You know, say when they just sit down for that place, they, they think, say, now they go day forever. And uh, God created this life in a way that nothing is permanent. For the fact that our life is not permanent, so no matter the position you hold, at anywhere where you day, it's going to be temporarily. But these people, once they get to that place, they don't forget themselves. Okay. And Nigerians have reacted saying that, well, this is a good move. Then when um, someone like uh, Governor Hope Uzadima of Imo State, Governor Wike of River State, we apologize to their people as well. Anyway, guys, let's quickly hit the news and get the full details. But before then, if you are just joining us, please kindly subscribe to this channel and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you. Can State outgoing Governor Governor Ganju Day has decided it's time to appeal to his constituents for forgiveness. The governor begged the people of his state to overlook his many missteps during his time in office. On Sunday, this occurrence was covered on the Twitter feed of the Daily Trust, the Daily Trust news broadcasting platform. They claimed that the governor, while holding a Ramada Tarsia Jomarat Mosque on Alu Avenue in Kano, had declared he needed forgiveness because he was leaving office soon. On his end, he stated that he had forgiven everyone who had wronged him during his time as governor and hoped that others would do the same. He said he is leaving the citizens with his best wishes for their future. Our Iman has recently preached forgiveness to those we have offended. On my end, I am extending a pardon to everyone involved. I forgive everybody who has spoken anything negative about me. I also ask for your understanding in this matter. Thank you very much, Ganjude exclaimed. However, I expect those to be some points along this lengthy st uh, 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 stretch when I did well and some point when I messed up. Sometimes people will break the law for your benefit. Please forgive me for everything I may have done wrong, he pleaded. However, as the twin tapes of faith on internet, entertainment platforms. They elicited a huge response from people on over the world, all over the world, not only in Kanu State. Some people stated they had forgiven him, while others praised the, the head representative for trying to clear his name. Still, others said they would only grant his request under certain conditions, and a select few said they could never forgive him. Okay, let's hear them out. Anytime I read news about current state, I remember the INEC resident commissioner who was gruesomely murdered because maybe he refused to play along with the popular trend of rigging. Governor uh, Gulag Jonathan out of office. It was that election that brought Ganju Day as governor of Kano State and Buhari as president in 2015. The surprising twist to the matter was that the then police commissioner in the state was promoted and made IG by the president, who compulsorily retired all senior officers. The governor should tell his people, especially the family members of the deceased INEC ROEC about what truly happened, both to the victims and to the barbarians who carried out the Kinoros crime. Talk true. So after killing innocent people, rendering many people homeless, fatherless, motherless, 
they will wake up one day and start telling people to forgive them without explaining their offenses. Ha. Very soon, Aero Fire of Kaduna State will also come out to apologize to Kaduna people just as they did in Kogi State. Please, among all of you that condemn Ganjude here, who among you that are saints of if many, if you have the opportunity of reaching there, there, you people will do the worst. Nobody is a saint. Sentimental bigot. He intentionally collect bribe and be begging for forgiveness. Where is the dollar? Come and thief my property and ask me for forgiveness. Make tongue that fire you for rendering people poor and ask them for forgiveness. Is there any politician who is not collecting bribe? Don't trust any of them, I beg. I beg you will reap what you have sowed. Hmm. Confess all your sins first and go to your marks and pray to your God. The end of the road, Baba. Ganjude, even if the mora mortar forgive you, you have to offload the dollars you you sniff in your Baba Eriga, and every kickback collected, including the landed properties sold and pocket the proceeds and have to be offloaded before God can forgive you. This is the height of their evil and hypocrisy, pretending to be saints. Ganjude, a.k.a. Gandola, you must bear the consequences of your actions. Even your family members who sold land belonging to Kanye State will be persecuted along with you. So don't just be in a haste. Okay, guys, as you can see that Nigerians are still really very angry with the Canon State uh, governor. You don't commit with him, don't commit, finish. Now you they come and they tell us, say, forgiveness. How we will, how we want to start a Nigerian story at? I beg, make a drop and for you. Yeah. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Thank you.